Hello there and welcome to a quick video guide about how to feed your animals properly in Let's Build a Zoo. In this video I'm going to go over all the things you need to make sure that your animals get what they require and everything is properly configured. So first things first, water. Water is necessary and you get water by building water pumps. You find them in the amenities menu and you gotta make sure that this blue circle is covering the enclosures properly, otherwise you won't be able to provide water for the animals. And the other thing you need is just simply by selecting the enclosure, add objects, and then you needed to add in some water sources for the animals. The more animals in there, the more of them you require. Okay, next thing are the animal keepers. They need to be configured otherwise they won't work properly. To do this, you go over to the heat maps menu and you click here into the animal keeper menu. So here you see all the animal keepers that you have hired and you also can see how they are assigned or not. So you select the animal keeper in question and then you just left click the animal keeper and you see that white outlining and then you just left click the enclosures you want to assign that person to. I personally feel like two enclosures are quite okay per animal keeper, but if you want to make sure that everything is super correct, just go one animal keeper per enclosure, but it ain't necessary. They get their job done usually like that. You can configure that to your own liking, strain them out or, or whatever. That is just the procedure that you need to take. That will make sure that your animal keepers will take the food out of the warehouse to the animals. The next thing on the list, the diet. So the standard settings for your animals look like this. So you can select food for every animal separately and this by clicking this thing here. And then you can see how the food is composed. Every animal has four different food items it can get and it's up to you to mix it properly. The default setting is always just 100% of uh, ingredient number one. And as you can see, the satiation bar is full, but the nutrition is not that much. This will keep the animals alive, but as a result, they will live shorter because their longevity suffers from bad health. So to get this done better, first reduce the ingredient number one, to zero person because this is most of the time just a filler ingredient so next step usually for me put up 10 percent of the other things and watch where the nutrition bar grows fastest usually one of these three is the key ingredient here carrots did the job best so i'm nudging this up and you should always mix it up until the nutrition is at the top but as you notice now I get now diminishing returns. The last 10% extra carrots did do nothing. That's because you can overfeed a certain good. So you need to puzzle it out for yourself. Usually, if it looks like this here, it's good to go and fill up the rest with ingredient number one. And there we go. Once you hit the satisfied bar, this is a perfect result. You don't need to go that perfect for everybody, but basically there is a ideal mixture for each animal. Of course, this is the costiest way to feed them, and it's also the best, so it's worth it, I'd say. So, to make sure that you got everything, you gotta quick order everything for your animals by clicking the shopping cart here, and then buy this for as many days as you can afford. You can upgrade this whole system via the research, and usually, it's enough to do it like that. As you see here, I didn't uh, puzzle it out ex uh, like here, 200 person for everybody, but it pays off to do this. And this is pretty much everything you need to do. Just make sure that you have enough personnel, water, and a good food mixture, and that's really just all you need to go for. So I hope you found this helpful. Leave me your comments down below. A thumbs up would be appreciated, as would be a subscription. Look up. Patreon, Pi uh, Paypal, and buy me a coffee as ways and means to support this channel. I'd be delighted if you'd give them a look. As an independent content creator, I can use all the help that I can get. Thanks for watching this video. Have a wonderful day and see you soon.